Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, what happens if your tennis racket grip is either too big or too small for you? Stay tuned. All right, good morning to everybody. Dark Roast, Piping Hot, Coffee of the Day. Sponsor is John Malloy. And John says, hello to you and your coaches. John, thank you for the Dark Roast, Piping Hot Coffee. I appreciate you. Um, if you want to support my Dark Roast, Piping Hot Coffee Habit Network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to actually drink. Mm. I like it when it's really hot like this. All right. So a lot of people in the last three weeks have come in complaining that their grips have been too big and they're saying that it's hurting their hand like right around this area right where the knuckle leads in to right here like that's I, i've been i've gotten maybe six or seven of those people saying it's hurting right here now that's kind of a unique place to to have it hurt but and then they're also coming in saying, oh, my, my coach says my racket grip is too big. Um, and then they're saying, can I get a new racket? Or can you build it down? You know, can you take it down? And I'm looking at it like, Ugh, you know. And yes, it is a little big. I'm going to grab a racket here. I'm going to grab a, one of these Rafa's. So when I looked at the grip there it was like that far apart so it was like over my index finger apart so it was like right around there and i was like yeah it is a little big for you it is big for you um but is it too big that it'll hurt you in that particular spot yeah i think uh you know, as I keep always telling you guys, when I grew up, it was a, I grew up with a 5 8 grip because that was all that existed. And, you know, I didn't hear anybody ever complain about, you know, my hand hurting. Yeah, it, it, and there was a leather grip on there, too, as a fairway grip. And now we actually have cushion on our grips. And, you know, it, 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 they're complaining about the pain in that knuckle. So I the next question I asked was, well, how do you hold your grip? And they're like, well, we do the shake hand method, like this. All right, so you're shaking hands, holding a forehand, and hitting it like this, right? So when you do this, a lot of the force actually hits that knuckle, which is how I was taught too. But my guess, my guess is that when you hit it a little on the late side, you take a lot of punishment into your hands especially when you're holding it too tight too so when it's too big i think it's actually um in my opinion it's okay i mean not overly big but maybe one grip size is not going to hurt you like people complain that oh my arthritis um makes it so i can't hold a big grip I actually think the opposite. I think a bigger grip is easy for somebody with an arthritic condition to hold a grip. Because if it's too small, then you have your whole hand wrapped around there and it's gonna twist in your hand easier. Whereas if it's a thicker grip, it's easier to kind of get your hand around it and hold it more stable. So, but if it's too small, if it's too small, I feel like more bad things can happen. Like you can hit it late and, you know, literally break a wrist or, or basically, uh, twist your wrist, um, hurt your wrist, like right here. 
right? Who Who's ever had a, a wrist problem that hurt down here, right? That means you hit a forehand too late. Like most injuries from a racket's grip being too small happens down here. That's, yeah, down here. Very rarely does it happen up here. I would say nine times out of ten, down here. Because it's too small. The injuries will happen here, usually not here. You'd have to do something like a volley or a serve for it to kind of make aggravate this part. Or doing something really weird, right? I, I don't know what you guys do. Sometimes I see how people play and I'm like, oh, you're going to break something. All right? So I'd say, I mean, I tell people to err towards the smaller side because we can build a grip up. I can't take a grip down as I keep telling you, but I feel like um, for those of you who are thinking about, oh, your grip being a little too big, um, think about that a little bit. Maybe take the over grip off and try it that way and replace the replacement grip, right? So you can gain a little more cushion and see how that goes. But in my opinion, you know, play with what you have and see how it goes. Okay, it's probably fine, guys. Okay, because I sent everybody just with their own grip. I might have changed one replacement grip out and sent them back out there. All right, guys, I hope that helped. Check your grip, guys. Check your grip. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. You know, most people, they quit tennis because, you know, it's hard to find somebody to play with. Right? I'm just, I just feel so lucky to have my buddy, my buddy Coach Rob, that we have so much in common. You know, we're, we're both kind of follically impaired. You know, ain't that right, Coach Rob? Us follically challenged friends have to hit together. Yes. So I have Coach Rob. If you guys need a friend and you're follically impaired or our bearded one and looking for your bearded mate right check out play your court they have people that look like you play like you maybe act like you check out their site it's playyourcourt.com your tennis buddy can teach you how to twirl You'll get it someday. Hopefully better than that. We'll have to keep practicing, Eric. <laughs>